What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Miss Pink Hangouts. I'm back with some more Dark Souls 3. We are back at the bonfire where we killed the dancer. Because I think this is the quickest way back to the Consumed King. So we're going to try to head out and get him again. Did, I think we unlocked the shortcut, did we not? I can't remember where it is, though. Actually, I think it's this way. I think it's this way. No, it's the other way. But I don't even think it's down. So... If it's not down, that would suck. Yeah, it's not down. So I'm gonna pull it and then like run for my life. It's not very good that we're wasting this already, but I need to pull that bonfire or that uh, lever and then try to get on this. Is it down yet? Wow, that elevator took forever. All right, let's go. Peace out, bitch. Did he fall and die? Oh, I thought he fell and died. That would have been funny. But we're going to go try to face this, uh, this boss over here. I did have some plans where I wanted to show you guys some Covenant stuff, but two, the two other Covenants that I was trying to join, which are the last two that I think we are able to join in the game, um, I actually can't join. Oh wait, this is the wrong, the wrong shortcut. Shit. I can't remember where the other shortcut is. Oh well, it's not that big a deal. We can just go back the other way. But the two covenants that I, I uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Well, one of them is I'm, I'm still able to join, which is the, I think it's the Aldrich Faithful. I think I'm, I'm still able to join that one. But... The other one, one, which is the Dark Moon Covenant, I'm not actually able to join since I didn't finish Cirrus's quest line because I'm an idiot and didn't pay attention to quest lines. Well, I mean, honestly, it's just because blind playthroughs of Dark Souls are kind of designed in a way where if you don't, you have to, you, you kind of have to know. Oh, here it is. I'm an idiot. It's right here. You kind of have to know exactly where certain things are in order to get everything in, in, a, in a Dark Souls playthrough. Um, and that's almost impossible unless you're looking at a guide. Almost, I say, because apparently, you know, clearly there's the people that wrote the guides and those people know where everything is already. Me, though, I don't know where everything is already, so... Maybe after I finish Dark Souls on this playthrough, I'll end up looking at a guide or something and and finishing the rest of the things that I need to do on a different playthrough because I don't think we're going to be able to get everything done on this playthrough. Though it would have been nice to have done so. I just don't think it's possible at this point. So like I said, we're just going to run past these guys. I do want to put this on real quick before we run past this guy because... Alright. Do they follow me down here? No, they don't. I wonder if there's any summon signs right here. It doesn't look like it. Alright, well, here we go. <clears throat> We're gonna go against Osiris. Or Osiris. I don't know how to say his name. Okay. Already being a dick there, Osiris. Trying to get my stuff. There we go. I heard some crazy lore about this guy. Fuck! Oh my god, I had the fucking... <laughs> I fucked up because I had the pyromancy flame in my hand when I thought I had the shield in my hand. I've done that so many times on this playthrough, it's ridiculous. So many times. How do I make that mistake every time? It's okay, though. It's not that big a deal. It's not that far of a run, honestly. I have heard people complain about this this run back to this guy before, but he's not that far. Maybe, um, 
I don't know. I wonder if you can actually summon somebody for this fight. Because for our build, he actually seems like a pretty difficult fight. He does a lot of damage. And we do, like, none. I'm kind of disappointed with, uh... How the sorcerer plays out. I've heard that you the sorcerers do a lot of damage once you hit hit like sixty intelligence. But who the fuck hit sixty intelligence on their first playthrough? Like, you must not be putting any points in anything else but intelligence and maybe attunement. Which I'm not about that life. I'm not that brave. I can't do that. I'm decent at Dark Souls, but I can't fucking dodge every single skill, you know, because if you if you do that kind of play style, you literally can only get hit like once, and or if that, you might get one shot. Honestly, if you do that kind of play style, me, I'm more of a um, I like I mean I like my sorcerer builds, especially in the other Dark Souls, but in but you know it's just hard to deal with certain things in this game. And I don't, I hope this doesn't sound like I'm complaining. I, I am to a point, sort of, I guess, but I don't mean to be complaining. I'm just trying to say that they could have made it a little bit easier for something that's already considered hard. I would have expected the late game to be stronger than what it is. Because right now, the late game is not that strong. Don't know how I got hit, whatever. Yeah, this boss is going to be hard for us. Really hard. He doesn't take very much damage. Ah. Dear little Ocelot. Where have you gone? I don't know what that Are is, Are you hiding but... from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Okay, I need to probably use the flame again. Gotta hide behind the pillars, because that's the only way I place them safe. Or semi safe, I should say. I'm not really even safe there. got hit by that. Get the fuck out of here. I heard he goes wild here. Holy fuck, a lot of damage. Damn it, that's not good. Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Why the fuck did I kick right there? Now 
That hit me. Am I dead? What the fuck hit me? I'm so confused. I don't even think anything hit me right there. I just died from fucking sheer exhaustion or something. That was weird. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, for this is one of those bosses that for a sorcery is a pain in the ass. So, like every single boss in this game, except for a few. The only ones I can think of that aren't a pain in the ass for a sorcerer are... Um, the Abyss Watchers weren't that bad, in my opinion. And... I'm trying to think about who else wouldn't be that bad, honestly. We didn't have that much of a problem with High Lord Walnir, but that's because we were using a sword. If we weren't using a sword, that dude would be impossible. Same thing with fucking, um, uh, what's his name? The freaking giant. If we weren't using a sword with him, that would have been impossible too. Some of this stuff, like, just doesn't make any sense. Like, how do they expect sorcerers to be any decent versus any of these guys? With the fucking FP being the way it is. All the good sorceries being so damn expensive. Like, expensive as in, like, um, FP cost expensive. And, uh, okay, he's dead. And, like, I just don't know. I don't know. I've heard good things about some sorceries, and then uh, I've heard bad things. And I've heard, you know, I get mixed things from people in my comments. I'm like, some people are like, once you get 60 intelligence, your sorceries are going to be so good. And I'm sitting here like, how much intelligence do I have? 37? Yeah, um, don't know if that's going to happen. We're already probably three quarters away through the game, if not more. Uh, 60 intelligence is not going to happen on this playthrough. And like I said, there's no point, I mean, there's like no way to not build, um, what's it called? that and I'm also going to use Let's see if we can switch any armor up somebody told me to put the something on I don't even remember I can't remember what they told me to put on Was it the Fallen Knight armor? Because if it was, it's not as good. Could wear the Firekeeper skirt. It's actually a little bit better than what we have on. Somehow. Or we could wear the Drang shoes, which seems better by a lot. But so does the Brigham trousers. Let's put that on. I don't think anything else we can wear and not go over the limit would be better. I think we've put in pretty much all that we can put on. All right, I need to think this through. What should we put on? Coranthi ring. I might take off for something else. Boost sorceries. We already have that on. Reduces skill FP consumption. That's only skill FP, I'm pretty sure. Dark clutch ring, magic clutch ring. I'm just looking to see what we can use that would make it even make our things even better than what they are if there's anything I don't think there really is honestly spell FP consumption but also lowers HP see like that's what I'm talking about what the fuck why do I have to sacrifice something to be a spellcaster this doesn't make any sense to me I have to sacrifice on the BS spellcaster, but if I'm a warrior, I'm f I'm fucking stacked to the bones with everything. Um, fucking strengthens thrust weapons. There's no nothing bad about that. 
increases strength. Nothing bad about that. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, did they have any freaking? Just doesn't make any sense. Any balance in mind? Because I mean, it's not balanced. Though it may seem balanced because sorceries are supposed to be powerful, they're not powerful. That's the problem. And so they're not fucking strong. This guy just got summoned, so I don't have any other any summons here. I'm gonna try to go against him one more time. If we die to him again, uh, I'll try to. Get, hopefully, there's gonna be another sum a summon somewhere because that's kind of what I need. I don't know what that is. What is that that he like throws out? It doesn't seem to do anything. Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Okay, it does a little bit of damage after like a few seconds, I guess. No. No. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Damn it. I tried to switch. Okay, there we go. Fuck, this guy is so fast. I gotta like stay underneath of him. It makes it really hard to stay underneath of him though. Stuck in a fucking wall, man. Stuck in a fucking wall. Okay. Holy fuck, we did it. Sorry I was so quiet. I was just concentrating so hard right there. <sighs> Sorcery is still weak though. <laughs> Sorcery is so fucking weak. Okay, we killed Osiris, the consumed king. Holy fuck, that was annoying. He's not that hard, honestly. He's just uh, fast. Just really fast. I'm going back. 
before I go any further to get myself killed. I'm going back real quick. Oh, man. The last, like, three episodes we've killed a fucking boss, though. That's crazy. Sorcery's weak, though. Just pointing that out there. Sorcery is still weak, and so is, uh, I know some people are probably gonna be like, well, you're not really using sorcery, though, honestly, which is true, true, I'm not very, really using sorcery, I'm just using magic, I'm using the Karthus Flame Arc, I know, I know, but that is pretty much because of the sorcery being so weak, is why Welcome I'm not using it. Soul Spear is good, well. but it takes too much fucking FP. Then touch the darkness within, take nourishment. And it's, like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't even know if we should level up sorcery since I'm not even using it. I'm using, um, fire more. Pyromancy more. I wonder if maybe we should level up faith. Why not? That made the flame. Uh -huh. Let's talk to you. What do you got for me? You got anything? Ash. The only reason I was wondering about the... Can't we learn... Wait, don't we have like lightning spear or something? How much does that take? It takes 20... 20 FP or no, 20 faith and this takes... 40 FP and this takes what? 27? So it takes less than Soul Spear. I'm sure it's more powerful. If it's like Dark Souls 2, Lightning Spear was the best freaking um, thing in the game. Like one of the best at least. I guess uh, we don't have a Titanite thing. Wait, we might have some large Titanite shards to upgrade our broadsword. No, we don't. Okay. Never mind. Reinforce the SS flask though, apparently. Let's um I honestly don't know. Alright, let's get out of here then. Let's see if this guy's got any sorceries to spell. I don't really want to go anywhere at two thousand souls. Might as well learn some sorceries. Homing soul mass. I guess we could use that, maybe. That's always been a pretty decent sorcery. Um, I wonder if Hidden Body does anything against bosses. I doubt it. Go. I haven't talked to this chick in a while. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, Chad, do you wish to hear? You know, in my heart, I'm a bit of No, same thing. Have a play. Alright, so let's go. Let's go back to where we killed him and see what's down that path. I will equip Holy Mean Soul Mask, though. Oh, and we should see what we can get from his souls. I'm guessing we can get his like giant hammer but we can probably also get that spell uh -huh. that he was using sure. white dragon breath emit crystal breath of seat the scaleless and then the other one would be this right no that's not it Where's the second one? What? He only has one? Consume Osiris. Oh, there we go. Moonlight Great. Oh, the Moonlight Great Sword. He needs 16 strength to, to carry it. It scales off decks. Legendary dragon weapon associated with Seath. I mean, it scales off of intelligence, not dex. Legendary dragon weapon associated with Seath the Pale Drake. 
charge strong attack to its limit to unleash moonlight wave. Osiris, the, the consumed king, was infatuated with the search for the moonlight, but in the end, it never revealed itself to him. Moonlight Vortex draws sword back and thrust to unleash torrential, 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 moonlight. We might get the moonlight great sword if you guys want me to use the moonlight great sword, and you guys will consider that magic. Let me know, since it does scale off magic. I'll buy. I'll go ahead and get it. Actually, no, I won't. Tell me in the comments below. Well, no, it's going to take too long probably because I, I upload in, ahead of time. So I am going to get it. I think. I'm sure it's better than that sorcery anyway since sorcery is shit in this game. So let's get it. Ah, so... So technically we could wear this and then be able to carry the Moonlight Great Sword if we wanted to. Where's it at? There it is. So we could carry this around. We're gonna be slow rolling. Hold on a sec though. Maybe if we upgrade it. I wonder if it scales better with dex the more we upgrade. I mean, um, why do I keep saying dex? What I mean is, um, intelligence. Needs titanite scale. I have plenty of titanite scales. I just need more souls. Should be a new one. We need a Titanite slab to upgrade it all the way. 242 magic damage plus 144 physical damage on every single swing. Well, actually, no. 349 magic damage. Holy fuck. That's a lot. Be careful. <laughs> I might I might use it if you guys will if you guys will allow me to use that I'm gonna lose use it for a few episodes please forgive me I just want to see what it's like because I've, I've never used the moonlight great sword in every single souls game even demon souls I've never used it so this will be a completely new experience for me I just need to get down to enough the mirror vest will take us down to where we can still have a good decent armor but we can also roll so that's good so this should be this should be uh interesting What's very well that taken i still want to upgrade faith though just in case Farewell, we end up wanting to use lightning spear all right so let's go um Let's go to the Osiris, the Consumed King uh, bonfire, and keep going that way. I think this can be can be considered magic, since may, I mean it scales off a of it scales off intelligence. It's magic. It's a magic based weapon, or sorcery based weapon, um, and. Technically, I mean, I mean, I don't know if you can count a broadsword infused with magic. Then I think we can count the Moonlight Greatsword as magic too. If you guys have, if you guys get mad at me for using it, just tell me in the comments, and I'll stop using it in the the episode that I hear it in, um, or the next episode that I that I'm able that I'm recording and I see that comment or something. Just hit me up, and I'll do that. I will stop. Okay, I was just making sure, seeing if these guys were alive. The hell is going on down here? Are these what are these guys? Are these guys priests? Or are the pilgrims? Whoa! Don't be mad, homie. What the fuck? 
Holy shit! I don't know if that's good or not, but we two hit him, which makes me feel good because it's rare rare for us to two hit somebody. Path of the Dragon. Path of the Dragon. And this is a mimic, I think. Okay, no, it's not. Titanite scale. Path of the Dragon. This is not mimic. Hmm. That looks like an illusory wall. No illusion ahead. What if I sit here? With the path of the dragon. Where's the path of the dragon one? What if I sit here with that? Nothing. Hidden path ahead. Illusory wall ahead. Hey! Would you look at that? Impossible. This place again? Ah, jumping. Impossible. This place again. Where are we? Untended graves. What? Hold on, what is this trophy? I just want to see what it is because we're in an area. Is this like a secret area or something? Reach the untended graves. It must be a secret area. All right, well, before we venture into the unt untended graves, it has been like 30 minutes, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to hit me, to let me know if you guys will let me use the greatsword. I'm going to use it in the next episode because I'm recording it right after this one. But let me know anyways. I, I really want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'll see you all later. Peace out.